Okay, so I'm going to introduce myself with the fun stuff first. I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. 1997, page 210, on the royalty and government page with Her Majesty the Queen. Now, that didn't go to my head because in the American version over here, same thing. But they put me on the same page as the world's biggest world's biggest bagel. Wow, that's so, so cool. this, yeah, I know, world's biggest bagel isn't too bad, something like a 500 kilo bagel. So John turned out on the world's biggest bagel. So, why was I in the Guinness Book of Records? Because I've run in more elections than anyone else. Why would I run in 74 elections and lose them all? Do I like to lose? Well, actually, no, I don't like to lose because I'm one of the best poker players in the world. As a matter of fact, here's a little book you can buy at Amazon. It says Canadian Gamblers, Canadian Blackjack Players, Canadian me. Poker Players. John Turmel, first name, me. So, yeah, I don't have to run in politics to make a living. I can do that playing poker. So you got the world's best poker player and the world's losingest politician all in one. Now, why did I go into politics? Well, when I was a kid, I always wondered why when the bus left on the field trip or to the football game or whatever, with the seats empty, I couldn't go. Because I didn't have a ticket, didn't have any money. Now, I wasn't poor, okay? I mean, the family, my dad was worked at the FASCO, a little super little man, 80 hour a week, double shifts, but all the money went to pay the mortgage. Mortgage means mort, like mortuary, death. Gage means gamble. And basically, that explains why some kids have all the tickets and some kids don't. Now, I don't blame the kids with all the tickets. It's not their fault that somewhere up there, they took it away from the kids' poor parents and gave it to the rich kids' parents. But I'm going to explain how that happens. All right? There's something that happens at the banks that takes from the poor people to give to the rich people. Taxes? No, no, that pays for roads and stuff. No, no. Jesus beat up the bankers in the temple with a whip. Wow, the only time he ever beat anybody up. Wow, why? These were the guys who were loan sharks. They would lend money to poor people and make them pay back more so they could give it to the rich people. And that explains why some daddies who work the same number of hours as the other they take some of their paycheck to give it to their paycheck. And that explains why some kids don't go to the X, can't go on the rides. Some kids go on all the rides. I remember going to the X. You know what I did for seven hours out of eight? Decide where I was going to spend my two bucks. What six rides did the rich kids seem to like the best that I'd go try, you know? That was my day, deciding where I'd spend my six tickets for the X. So I got really mad, and at a certain point, I ran for parliament to legalize gambling. And they asked me about inflation and unemployment, and I said, wow, what's going on here? And I figured it out. They got a system that takes from the poor people to give to the rich people. And I said, I'm going to stop it. So I decided to keep running in every election, and I said, we got to run money like poker chips. No more interest. Bring me a chunk of something, here's a poker chip worth a ton of wheat, and it's always going to be the same. No inflation. But the government doesn't run that way. Here's how mortgage death gamble works, just like musical chairs. Ten daddies put up their house as collateral, go to the bank, sign a loan, borrow a hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand liters of water, say, and they all promise to bring back a hundred and ten. Now they go dump the water into the pool, and then everybody's got to try and win back a hundred and ten at the end of the year. Now nine. Daddies come up with 110, whew, pay their mortgage for the year, but one daddy gets squeezed out. They used his 100 G's to pay their interest, and that's how the death gamble mortgage works on most of your parents. So most of your parents have a death gamble, and they're all caught like this by the throat by the bankers. And the bankers take from the poorer guys to give to the richer guys, and if you're poorer, they take it faster and more. And if you're richer, they give it the most. Bill Gates, $70,000 million. The average person takes $700 in the third world, $2 a day to live on, 700. 
Bill Gates has got 10 million years worth of life support tickets all to himself. What a winner, he's a hero. 70 million life support tickets, hogging it all, all his. Well, I'm really mad about that. So I said, I'm gonna do something about stopping the taking from the poor to give to the rich. And then I looked into the Bible. Jesus beat up the bankers, said, don't lend your money at interest. I looked in the Old Testament. Uh, Nehemiah said, don't lend your money at interest. I looked in the Islamic Quran, don't lend your money at interest. Good Christians, good Muslims, good Jews, good Buddhists, good Hindus, all say loan sharkens bad. Asking for 11 when you only printed 10 knocks people into poverty, and that's wrong. So I decided I'm going to do something about it. So in 1984, I financed some software, Time Bank software, where anybody can sign up and say, I'm ready to do an hour's work. And then you post it on the internet. I went and walked this old lady's dog for a half an hour or for a whole month, 15 hours. Well, you know, when I went to Europe 10 years ago, 39 nights out of 40, I paid with an IOU for a night back in Canada. I bet you I could find a family in Europe who would put you all up for the summer if your family put one of them up for the summer. And all it would cost you would be the airline ticket instead of the thousands in accommodations and the thousands in room food beverage. So, yeah, time banks are happening around the world already and that's my municipal program. I want to set you up a time bank account where you can work for the city doing volunteer stuff for old people, shoveling snow when there's a snowstorm, cleaning a park, put in a useful hour, and it's worth six bus tickets. Twelve bus bucks. So, now you can get little old ladies to sign a one-hour bill worth twelve bus bucks, or you can work for the city shoveling the snow and they'll put twelve bus bucks in your online account, which you can then use in other cities that have bus bucks. And even at Brantford doesn't do bus bucks. Other towns someday will, soon because they've got a huge workforce of kids out there who could all be thrown in 20 hours of useful labor each, and that's a million worth of kid hours in Brantford alone doing useful stuff if we only paid you with bus tickets. And I want to pay you guys who have no money to go to community centers, you can't, I'm talking the poor kids here, sorry, the rich kids don't care usually, but the poor kids, Imagine, you shovel the snow, you clean a park, now you can go on the bus trip. Now you can go to the community center with the bus bucks because they're all city events. So I want to give an opportunity for the poor kids who want to do some work to earn some bus bucks to pay for their stuff, a chance to do that. And that way they can go hang out with the rich kids at the community center. And then go hang out with the rich kids on the bus to the football game. Okay, bus bucks is the only way you kids are ever going to be able to avoid your future, and all you got to do is go look at the TV. And what you see on TV, now it'll be worse and uglier and poorer. As, hey, in Canada, when I was a little kid, 95% of us went on the bus tickets and only 5% couldn't. Hey, in other countries, 5% on the buses, 95% don't go. Empty buses. And that's how the ripoff goes on everywhere because of banks, which is why Jesus beat up the bankers in the temple. So, I need you to explain to your parents how if every kid in Canada was given the right to do some work and get bus tickets and pay, we could probably generate five, six thousand million useful hours of work done by kids that would serve the older people who can't afford it now, plus earn you all sorts of fun stuff overseas. So, I gotta make my last point before I move away from here though. There was an article last Friday about me being arrested. I was passing out my flyers in front of a high school and some people didn't like that, came and pushed me, pushed me, pushed me around, wanted me to stop. Finally, I said, push me again, I'm gonna kick you. Yeah. You know where. Anyway, the guy kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Finally, the policeman showed up and he said, he threatened me. Even though I backed down, I didn't kick him. So anyway, I've got the video of the whole thing at my website. I've been videotaping every election meeting, and I've been videotaping kids and asking them, will you work for bus bucks? And most of them go, yeah. Yes. Guess what now? My friend yes. Tom Kennedy, he is the first class, I believe, in the world 
to operate a let system. The software, the let software, the time bank keeps track of your hours. And it was a class of grade five kids that he had installed and run their own online lets. And he found, now the teachers were handing out time tokens for 10 minutes in the gym, extra, 10 minutes on the computer, extra. And pretty soon the kids were trading them for pogs and other things. And at one point my friend said, you know, I really knew that this was a real currency when one day I went to my desk and found someone had stole some of them. So it's just like real money if you can spend it. Plus, I got five stores in town right now who say if you work for Bus Bucks, they'll take 10%. Both martial arts academies, if you're taking you know, Kung Fu, 10% of daddy's bill if you go work and clean a park, pay with Bus Bucks. And more merchants will join once you guys decide and show you want to work. So, I can't get through to the adults. If you look at the videos, they're completely dumbed down by their debts. They're just not interested in whether or not poor kids get a chance to work and get a job and get some different kind of money. So I'm thrilled at the opportunity to come and speak to you here because, gee, you guys could start your own Let's Time Bank. The software is on the internet. Just got to set up a little record. Everybody starts at zero. You all take out a hundred bucks in chips, poker chips, just like a poker game, and start using it amongst yourselves, your own community currency, and now you don't need cash. <laughs> Settle all your little debts. So that is basically what I want to do for you is give you an online Let's account, a time bank account, and as much time you want to work, you're going to be able to bank that time and call on it later and spend it in Europe and spend it in our stores. And I'm the only person who's found a way to put unemployed people to work by printing our own new kind of money. So any questions? Go ahead. I have actually a different question. Why can't little kids vote? I see no reason why you shouldn't. They say, oh yeah, but they're going to be influenced by their parents. Well, yeah, 30% blue are going to vote blue with their daddy. 30% red are going to vote red with their daddy. 20% are going to vote NDP with their daddy. So nothing's going to change very much. So you should be allowed to vote as soon as you want to. I agree. Understood? All right, next. Yes. Are you calling us poor? No. I'm saying the kids who are poor, no. Okay? <laughs> the kids who don't go on the field trips, you know, I mean, it's not their daddy's fault that they don't have the money for a ticket, okay? It's not daddy who killed that job and put that company out of business. It was the bankers. And so please, you know, just because a kid's got no money doesn't mean his daddy's a bum. Yes? Are you ready for mayor or council? Mayor, yeah. So, mayor will That's right. So if I get in there, it's going to be fast. Okay, yes? Yes? It wasn't kids, it was old, older, older, older adults. Yeah, the, the police saw all the kids cheering, cheering for <laughs> bus bucks and said I was causing a disturbance. But then the guy went and said, hey, he threatened me. And I did. I got my camera here, my flyers here, passing them out. And I said, if you don't stop pushing me, I'm going to kick you. So he, when I didn't kick him three, four times, he kept pushing me. Then he went and still told the cop he was scared I was going to kick him. Charge me. Now I go to jail for three, you know, three hours. It's insulting. It's an indignity. And, uh, but I got the video and we're going to find out whether or not my passing out flyers on the street to the students of a collegiate institute is in any way objectionable. They said, oh, maybe you're a pedophile who wants to take pictures of little kids. I said, I don't care. I'm a mayoralty candidate. You find me doing it and then complain, but otherwise leave me alone, and they didn't. So I have to go to court and fight that. So even though they didn't tell you that the guy was pushing me when I said I'd kick him if he didn't stop, well, I'm telling you. And the video's on the internet, so how can they lie when the video's right there? Anyway, I'll be able to prove that I didn't touch anybody. As I, I play basketball. I know how to avoid contact, right? You can't touch a guy in basketball. These guys thought it was hockey, you know, blocking me. So anyway, the truth is I never have to resort to beating anybody up when I can talk about the good news of Bus Bucks jobs, right? Fun stuff. You got a question? Would you work for Bus Bucks? 12 Bus Bucks an hour? No. How about you? No. 12 bus bucks an hour, six bus tickets. Would you work for six bus tickets an hour? Is there anybody here, when all their friends are going to shovel the snow after the next snowstorm, would rather stay home and not join the gang? Oh, no. no. 
That's what I thought. That's what I thought. When all your buddies are getting out there with the shovels to snow, and then after that going to eat hot dogs and drinks and party afterward when the snow's gone three days early and all the adults are happy enough to pay for a party, then you're going to appreciate it. So that's the point. All of you are willing to work. And we just got to tell the adults somehow. How do we do this? Because you're going to go through another four years of no money, kids, the poor ones, if you don't spread the word. All right, you go ahead. Are we all going to be on the camera? None of you are on the camera except for your voices asking me the questions. I'd love to take your pictures, you know, and but we need the permission, I think, of the authorities, and uh, we haven't found out yet. So maybe by the end of the meeting, we'll be able to take your picture and wave the blog. Yes. Are you what? Are you allowed to go on bus bucks? What does that mean? You can use the, if you shovel snow for an hour, I'll give you six bus tickets. You got six bus rides. Plus, Stromboli's Pizza. You go there, $20 worth of pizza, he'll take two bucks in bus bucks. Save the two bucks. So, there are stores who are going to help take youth bucks. And if I don't get elected, we just change the name to Youth Bucks because the rest of the world will honor your labor in Thai banks and the Brantford merchants will honor your labor even if Brantford City Hall does not. All right, you now. So how many times have you been mayor? Mayor? I've never been mayor. I've run for mayor maybe 11 times and I never got elected. What? This is what? my 74th election in 31 years. And I've lost 72 of them so far. I didn't win the other one, it was a tie. They called it off, but it still counted, so. And this is 74, so. All right, yes, sir, go ahead. What will you do if you become mayor? I will immediately set up a database online where you can log on, register your name, and then tell me about any useful thing you do for any little old lady, and that counts. You get it? Yes. Next, anybody else want to know how bus bus works? Go. I want to JohnTurnell.com, and just click on bus bus. Are you running? Okay. Yes, Mayor. Uh, okay. Yes. If I do nothing, do I still get money? No. Well, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Let's say you're sick or you're slow and you can't shovel. Well, you can just sign IOUs like the sick little old lady. Okay? So you'll be the one sick little kid with the sick little lady. But yeah, you can sign IOUs. No more begathons on TV so poor kids can get an operation. I give them an interest-free credit card covered. Okay? Yes. Basically, I'll pay you six He's bus tickets an hour if you help a little old lady clean a park, shovel the snow. How, do you, how are you going to pay us? I will credit it to your account, which you can then use to get your credits on your bus passes. Or I will pay you two dollar bus to bus bucks tokens that you can spend in the stores. Okay. All right. A ten minute bill is a two dollar bus token, and that's going to be our new toonies if I can help it. Yeah. Will you give it to us? In the well, in, in an account, and then you can get it on mail or Facebook. On the internet, okay? It'll be an internet account, just like PayPal. But you'll be able to get paper two-dollar bus bucks to use in the stores. No, half a ticket. Two bus bucks per ticket. That's what they charge in Brantford, around two bucks a ride, right? So, twelve bus bucks is six tickets or one hour of labor. But if you ever go overseas, we're not counting bus bucks, we're counting hours. When I went to France, they have 60 francs per hour. I would have owed 300 green francs for a night, but I always said, I owe you five hours. Germany, I owe you five hours. Between countries, we don't talk about our Canadian dollars, we talk hours where we trade. Keeps it easy. Go ahead. Um, how long have you been on a website? Probably, geez. Gee, 15 years, 15, 20 years maybe by now I've had my site up. Someone once laughed at me and said, hey, your party site hasn't changed any of its programs in 15 years. And I said, hey, when you get it right the first time, <laughs> you don't have to change anything. All right, go ahead. If you print bus box, yeah. um, wouldn't some kids just copy it because printers have copies? Well, then we'll put them in jail like we would if they did it for money. All right, next. Um, how do you it's called counterfeiting. But nobody will steal when they can get it for work. Believe it, every kid is willing to pay for what he gets. No, no, no bums. And you got a scorecard on the internet that says, gee, you know, I do a half an hour to this little lady walking dog, I clean that park, all the good things you do for your town. Who would want to steal false score? 
Yeah, the, the city will pay you two, no, ten, you know. Do you like print them out on yes, the computer? Yes, just like bus tickets. Okay. No, no, we will credit it to your online account like PayPal, but then you can take out paper bus bucks. All right, give you 100 credits, take out 50 bus bucks, 50 paper ones, $2 bills. Yeah. How do you make your own website? Oh, there are programs that help you. It's really not that hard. Um. Come back to you. Yes. Yeah. I'm 59. One more year to 60. But I'll tell you one thing that's neat. I never got married, never had kids. Why? Why? And having kids changes you, in a way. So I'm still really a big kid. And uh, I never got that parental responsibility for another person. And uh, it changes you. It makes you more serious. And I'm not. So go ahead, little lady. Yes. You. You. Oh, I guess I have to say blue, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon? If you don't have a printer, you got to get a buddy. Go to a library, spend 25 cents, I think. Yes, my dear? Food. Jeez. I don't know. I think... Why are you sweating? Uh, I think maybe lake trout, if I had to admit it, you know. Uh, mind you, I like hamburgers, can't help it, and I like Chinese buffet, but what can I, I eat pizza, I mean, there's so much good stuff rich people can afford that poor people can't. <laughs> Do you work at stores? Do I work at stores? No, no, no. Do we work at stores? Well, I would... You mean for bus bucks? Yeah. Well, if the guy's got bus bucks to pay you, why not? Uh, Stromboli's Pizza will take him in. Don Warner's Jiu Jitsu. You know what I mean? Okay, yes. Um, if you want to go on the bus with your parents and you want to go out for dinner, can yeah. they pull that count? Yes, it will. You can, you, can t you can pay for your parents' bus ride. Are you serious about this? Why right. not? Yeah. Okay, my dear, go. Yes. When I went to school, I got an interest-free loan from the government. And this was 35 years ago. $600 was paid for my universe, and I would have never got my degree in electrical engineering if I hadn't had the loan from the government. So I think that student loans should start earlier and be a lot bigger. So. In a nutshell, I want you to be able to log on to the Bank of Canada's computer like PayPal, open an account, cut checks for everything you need, and after that all payments go against the principal and you can pay it with cash or with time. And that's a time standard of money that makes poor people equal to a piece of gold. Any other questions? All right, kids, it was a pleasure. All right, zoom it. Okay. Mr. Kermel, it's a pleasure having you. My pleasure. Bye. So much stuff for the adults, you know. Yeah. Bye.